Oh, welcome back, bakers. So, auto ice is finished, and all I'm going to do is just uh, wet my hand briefly, and I'm going to take um, my salt, I'm going to sprinkle it around. 20 grams of salt. And then I'm just going to pick it up and incorporate it this way while turning the bowl. And essentially, all I'm doing is just kind of folding it in on itself and giving it a little slap. I'm all about the slap. All right, you'll see that after the autolyze time, um, the dough feels a lot softer. Um, it feels like um, it's kind of become this one big lumpy mass, um, and that's a good sign. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of waving it. Mm, don't do that. I'm waving it until the dough starts to have the right consistency. Okay. You'll feel the dough start to transform in front of you. And you don't want to overdo this. Um, we're developing gluten here, but we don't want to um, go too crazy with this because otherwise the resulting bread will have too much structure to it. It's going to be too dense. Um, so we want to avoid the formation of too much gluten protein um, while giving the dough a little bit of structure and uh, feel to it. And I like to call these turn and folds, but essentially I'm, I'm just picking a corner up, kind of waving it out and slamming it on itself, okay? And I'm gonna keep doing this until I start to feel like the dough has really changed. Um, maybe about another minute. All right, I'm kind of scooping around the edges to get um, stuff off the sides, but it's not really critical at this point, all right? And it's gonna be sticky, and that's okay. That's part of making this great dough. All right, you know what? I feel like that's pretty much there. Oh, phone call, and that's it. I'm just gonna leave that there for another uh, 20 minutes, and I'm gonna repeat that another three more times um, before uh, bowl, the bowl fermentation rests.